In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Welcome to the beliefs of Islam. This episode topic is the absolute transcendence of Allah or what is known in Arabic as Tawheed. Muslims believe Allah is sublimely transcendent in the sense that there is nothing like unto Him. He is one, Wahid, and is not compounded but rather soul, Ahad. He is eternal in the sense that He is entirely without beginning and without end, for He existed prior to the creation of time itself. In this sense, Islam's concept of a deity differs entirely from the concept evoked in numerous other primitive man-constructed doctrines. How so? It differs in that man when constructing an explanation for anything within the universe tends to view existence through the lenses of his personal experience and limited understanding. Hence it is quite common for many of the constructed false religions and to incorporate the concepts of God or indeed multiple gods who are bound by limitations and resemble mankind themselves. This process is known as anthropomorphizing, namely to take the attributes of mankind and attribute them to the deity. The teachings of Islam, of course, are clearly free of such defect to liken the creation to the creator or vice versa in Islam as something which is clearly prohibited and heretical according to the teachings of the holy imams. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon them all. According to the Imams who exposed the religion of Islam that was brought by the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him and his progeny, the concept of God, namely Allah, is not bound by any particular physical, spatial dimensions, nor He is bound by dimension of time. He is not housed in any area of space, and to imply that He is would necessitate that He is essentially dependent upon the area of space and time, and He is far exalted above that. Within the next few episodes, inshallah, the viewer will come to understand that whilst one can understand that there is a creator and that a creator is one using rationality, one can understand very little about the creator within the restrictions and limitations of a human intellect. The best we can come to understand is negative theology, namely what is the creator is not. Hence, while some philosophers of history have been the greatest of human minds according to their societies, they have failed heavily to produce the same notion of the great creator who was introduced through the revelation of the prophets, peace and blessings of Allah be upon them all. Rather, the philosophers have often gone astray in the restrictions of the human intellect in constructing a very philosophical concept far too restricted to be the God of creation. It is our hope that in following this series, The Beliefs of Islam, the believer will come to understand what Islam teaches about the deity and where the believer has to pause and reflect and understand that his restricted understanding of God, no matter how sophisticated, means nothing if it is not justified by the perfect intellects of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them all, and the revelation itself, but rather is nothing more than mere conjecture. Thank you very much for watching. Fiyamani.